Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and I'm the Mediocre Modeler and I'm bringing smiles to people's faces one model at a time. Um, today is the episode of Forgotten Friday. I'm going to show you an article um, in Scale Auto Magazine back from October of uh, 2013. It's a top 10 gassers. Uh, it's an article written by uh, Tim Boyd. And I'll show you that. I'm going to show you some stash ads. I'm going to show you some old builds that I got from somebody's estate. And uh, they're pretty cool. And uh, I'll show you the progress on the uh, goat. So let me flip this camera around and uh, let's get going. And I'll show you the progress of my Tom Brady tribute build. Slow this thing down. Here we go. So I got the TB12 painted last week. This week I put the, uh, I fixed the quarter panels. And uh, I still need to have the putty dry so I can sand it down. And I, I tried two different methods. Uh, the first one, I took the piece of styrene and I glued it directly to the fender wall. And on this side, I tried something different. I put the styrene on the inside and I'm going to fill in the gap with putty on the outside. So I tried two different methods so to see which one works the best. I uh, figured, you know, what the heck, I'll, get, I'll do that, you know. And I uh, made a little bit of progress. I detailed the uh, grill with some uh, Tamiya panel liner and some uh, Tamiya clear orange for the, for the markers. Um, I have this sticker. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a goat, so I'm either going to use the sticker or I'm going to try to make a template from the sticker onto a piece of uh, painter's tape. And then once it comes around here, I'll stop it. So the plan is to either use the sticker or to make a template of the goat and put it right there and then I have the goat that's gonna be pretty cool yeah so I'm liking it I, once again I want to thank Paul for making his video to uh, light a fire under my butt to get me started on this uh, project stall build you know, I've been wanting to finish this, and, uh, you know, I just let it let it go, you know. And I'm glad I'm working on it again. And thanks for watching. The first one is definitely a fixer-upper. Uh, I could either restore it, part it out, or make it into a rust bucket or something. But uh, 1940 Ford truck it's uh, molded in red it was never painted um, it's missing the door but every I got all the parts I got the door um, the rest of the parts are inside the uh, bed uh, I love the wheels on these they're They have knockoffs on them, and uh, all the knockoffs are still on. Uh, yeah, like I said, I love the wheels. I got an idea, too. So I have my tires bin, and I've built 
couple 1956 Thunderbirds, and they have some really cool white walls where you have to insert this little ring. And uh, I wonder if these fit. I'll put the knockoff in there and see. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. I like that. So, yeah, more parts for the parts box or, you know, uh, a project to restore. Oop. Let me see if I can open this thing without breaking it. It's got a cool engine in it, too. I'm not sure what kind of engine in it it is, but if anybody knows, leave a comment. I'm curious. Whoop. <laughs> uh, crack myself up, you know. Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. Yeah, we'll get her spinning around and take a look at her. See if I can slow this down a little bit. Oh, guess not, huh? There we go. Yeah, so it's it's a cool truck for sure. Um, I love the uh, 1940 truck, you know. Uh, it's kind of a rough shape, but like I said, it's nice to have options in my parts box. And, uh, you know, hey, if I, if I feel like uh, froggy, I can jump on this one, you know. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. It's nice to have my uh, options in my stash. This next one is pretty cool. Uh, I believe it to be either a 19... It's either 1939 or 40 uh, Ford sedan. Like I said, this guy liked his Fords. Um, yeah, this is definitely a cool model. Um, I have the two bumpers right here. I have a very small tail light that's still, I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> yet. Um, yeah, so this is a cool kit. Um, definitely worth restoring or just leaving it like it is, you know, barn find. Let me stop this for a second. Again, uh, I'm not sure what kind of engine this is. I guess I should research it, but uh, I got enough things to do. <laughs> I crack myself up. Um, yeah, so that's a nice, nice uh, model car, you know, um, that I got. I got a bunch more in this stash um, that I haven't even really looked at yet. But, uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you this, you know, 19, uh, whoever knows what this is, I think it's a 1938 or 9. But leave a comment. So Paul from Styrene Relics. Um, inspired me to do this uh, Forgotten Friday and get back on that uh, Tom Brady tribute build. But it's also um, developed into something even bigger. Um, so this has inspired me to take another crack at doing a Tom, uh, Tom Brady uh, tribute build. But this time, I'm going to go a different angle. So... I picked up actually two of these, and we all know this kit, and uh, my favorite car, 1967 GTO, so what I think I'm going to do, actually what I know I'm going to do, is uh, 
So I got two of these. I'm going to paint one blue and the other one maroon. And the second part of that I'm going to marry that body to this chassis and I got two of these. So I'm going to do two pro streets, one for uh, Tampa Bay, one for New England Patriots. So that's pretty cool. Then I picked up a nineteen thirty seven Ford pickup with the surfboard because I'm gonna use that in my group build psychedelic sixties group build. Then I have the nineteen thirty three Willies by AMT. And I'm gonna turn that into a uh a beer wagon, but a very special kind of beer, but I'm not going to reveal that because uh, my best friend watches these videos, so. <laughs> Hi, John. In this segment of Forgotten Friday, I'm going to show this article to you. This is a uh, from Scale Auto. October 2013, it's entitled Top 10 Gas Kits of All Time. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, yeah, Tim Boyd did this article back in uh, October 2013. So let's see what's uh, the first on the uh, list. Ravel, Stone Woods, and Cook. 1941 Willie's Swindler 2 came out in 1963. Uh, number two, the AMT Flip Front 1940s Willie from the 1932 Ford Custom slash 1940 Willie's Double Kit 1963. Number three, AMT 1955 Chevy Nomad Trophy Series 3 and 1. Wampin' Wagon came out in 1965. Number four, the Revell 1951 Anglia Skipper's Creditor, 1966. Number five, AMT 1937 Chevy Coupe Trophy Series, three and one, 1967. Number six, the AMT Ohio George Montgomery 1933 Willys Trophy Series, 1968. Number seven, MPC 1967 and 69 Ohio George Montgomery Mustangs, 1968-1970. Next up, the monogram, 1955 Chevy Badman, 1969. The 1957 Chevy Gasser, 1975. The Revell, 1941 Willys John Masmanian, Stone Woods and Cook, Black Car, and... K.S. Pittman, 2001, 2006, and 2012. Honorable mention is an AMT 1957 Chevy Bel Air Trophy Series 3 and 1, original 1962, and subsequent issues. Another honorable mention 1957 Chevy Bel Air by Revell. Original 1963 issue and a 1970 revision. Another honorable mention, 19, Revell 1955 Chevy, original 1964 issue. 
I got to wear gloves. I don't want to paint. <laughs> uh amt 1966 falcon annual kit 1965 the revel 1953 studebaker miss deal came out in 1967 yeah so i got this magazine at my uh model car club meeting and uh pretty cool i i like reading them you know so uh, let me see. Next one up is the MPC 1968 through 72 GTO and 68 slash 69 Mustang GT annual kits. Put out 1967 through 71. MPC Malco Super Vet 1972. The MPC Ohio George 1970 Maverick came out 1971. MPC 1973-74 CUDA and Challenger annual kits, 1972 to 73. The AMT 1950 Chevy Bel Air hardtop, 1976. The biggest disappointments was the Revell 1941 Willys pickup, Revell 1951 Henry J. And Revell, 1950, Austin, 1969, 1969, and 1970. Then, the Revell, 1953, Chevy Bel Air, and 54, Chevy Sedan Delivery, came out in 1969. Then they go on and say what's next for kits, and I'll let you guys check them out. Now, granted, this is... Uh, Back in 2013, so 10 years ago, actually going on 11, <laughs> where does the time go? So that's pretty cool. I know uh, Glenn likes gassers. 